Hey guys, Benny from Projector here, in amongst all the clicking and buzzing of the electrical Labrador facility. Now today we're here to talk about DC-DC chargers. Specifically, what are they, how do they work, and do I need one? The basic gist is, deep cycle batteries, like those you would use as an auxiliary battery, or the house batteries in your caravan, cannot be completely charged by your alternator. Now this is because typically, an alternator can only output a single voltage, somewhere around 13, 14 volts. And relying on this voltage alone to charge your deep cycle battery, can not only undercharge it, but it's going to reduce the life as well. Now that's not a good thing. Now this is where a DC-DC charger, like our IDC25 here, comes into play. Now obviously I couldn't bring the whole caravan up into the lab, so I've got the projector power hub here hooked up to simulate our second battery. Now in a real world application, this DC-DC charger will take the power from your alternator and convert the voltage and current into a specific output tailored for your secondary battery. Whether that's gel, AGM, wet or calcium. Now it doesn't matter whether you've got a smart alternator or a conventional one, a DC-DC charger will power your dual battery system in a much safer and more efficient way. Now this one here, the IDC25, is going to do this in three stages. The bulk stage delivers the maximum current to reduce charging time. And in the case of voltage drop, the IDC25 can boost the voltage up from as low as 9 volts. The absorption stage is going to make sure you get a thorough charge without any risk of overcharging. The final stage, float, will keep the battery topped at 100%. This means you can leave it and know that your battery is fully charged and ready to go whenever you need it. Peace of mind, maximum charge. And the last question, do I need one? Well, if you've got a dual battery system, my answer will always be yes. Now, if you've got an old vehicle with a fixed output alternator or a modern vehicle with a smart alternator, a DC-DC charger will mean you're gonna see massive improvements in charging efficiency. But that's not it, there's also heaps of other benefits. Prior to DC-DC chargers, the old school way to run a dual battery setup was with parallel wiring. And sometimes this meant having the second battery right up close to the main battery and squeezing it in under the bonnet. Now with a good DC-DC charger like this one, which compensates for voltage drop, you've got plenty of options on where you can put your second battery. Now the right DC-DC charger will also take advantage of your solar panels, distributing solar power to provide a fully comprehensive charge to your auxiliary battery. Now a really clever DC-DC charger is gonna prioritize the solar and only top up from the alternator if you need to, to save you on fuel. Now an extremely intelligent DC-DC charger is gonna compensate for the conditions that your battery is facing. Now cold climates demand a higher charge, while extreme heat can boil your battery. Not what you need when you're in the middle of nowhere. The IDC25 here has a really cool feature that differs from most others. This temperature sensor cable that ensures the right charging for the environment you're in. Extremely important as you're traveling around this varied country of ours. So to quickly recap, smarter, more thorough charging tailored to your battery type, leading to longer battery life, which is going to happen no matter what alternator your vehicle has, and charging that's optimized for the climate that you're in. It's gonna utilize solar panels if you've got them, plus greater amount of options of where to mount your auxiliary battery. Now hopefully that's given you a good explanation about what a good DC-DC charger is, why you might need one without going too deep into the nitty gritty. Now if you still have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I can make another video. Speaking of other videos, the IDC25 is one of the most popular bits of gear here at Projector. I could talk about this thing for days. I've already done heaps of other videos on it. Now if you want to see any of those, just follow the links in the description.